At the age of 22, this girl had already won 10 times on the LPGA of Korea Tour, was second at the 2015 Rico Women's British Open, and had won the 2017 LPGA HANA Bank Championship. Now she's 28, and she's only gotten better. That's right, we're talking about none other than our favorite Asian golf goddess, Ko Jing Young. In such a short time, she has 15 LPGA Tour wins, and if that's not impressive enough, then she's also won our hearts in the process. Hey guys, welcome back to Golf 365, where we tell you about all the gorgeous females in golf. In this video, we're looking at Ko Jing Young's golf swing, records, and killer lifestyle. Before we jump into the details, remember to click that subscribe button so you never miss another video. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. First up, let's take a quick look at her early life. Just like many other golfers that we love, Ko started playing golf at a very young age. In fact, she actually credits her parents for always supporting her. Even though we don't know much about her upbringing in Seoul, South Korea, we do know is that her parents had the most positive influence on her and her career. But wait, that's also how Ko isn't like the rest of our beloved golfers. Her parents never actually participated in golf activities, so she takes a lot of pride in the fact that she found her love for golf herself. It was just pure determination, dedication, and hard work. Ko is one of those athletes who value their family above everything else. In the past, she's even revealed that she shared a very close relationship with her grandfather. And if you ask us, then little Ko playing around with her grandparents sounds pretty darn adorable. Next up, let's talk about her professional career. Since Ko was always passionate about golf, she became a professional at 2013, right when she turned 18. Her first professional victory was at the Neff's Masterpiece in August 2014, and from that point forward, it was almost like every game on the green just belonged to her. Over the next four years, she won 10 times on the LPGA of Korea Tour. In 2015, she also came second at the Rico Women's British Open. But her life truly changed when she won the 2017 LPGA KEB HANA Bank Championship. That was when she announced her plans to finally join the LPGA Tour in 2018. And when she actually made it to the Tour, she was invincible. No, seriously, she might have been new to the professional golf world, but it almost looked like nobody could beat her on the greens. In 2018, she ended up playing 25 LPGA Tour events and finished in the top 10 in 13 tournaments. If that's not impressive enough, then she was even named the Rolex Rookie of the Year. Then came 2019, and the wins were simply endless. She won the Founders' Cup first, and then got her first LPGA major victory at the ANA Inspirational. And at that point, she was already ranking number one on the Women's World Golf Ranking, just one year after she joined the LPGA Tour. Crazy, right? That same year, Ko also won her second major by firing an epic final round 4 under 67 to win the Evian Championship by two shots with a 15 under total of 269. And get this, it was raining on the greens when she won. The whole scene was right out of a super cool action movie. Then she won the Canadian Women's Open and did not make a single bogey for the entire 72 hole tournament. She ended up keeping her streak by playing 114 consecutive holes without a bogey, and effortlessly broke Tiger Woods' record of 110 holes in 2009. Seems like even Woods has some serious competition with this girl. By the end of the 2019 season, everyone in golf knew who Ko was, and having won the season's big money title and Vair Trophy for the lowest scoring average, she was named the LPGA Rolex Player of the Year. Now that sounds like one heck of a year. In 2020, the pandemic hit the world of golf like a truck, and Ko went back to South Korea to be home with her family. But hey, she came back in December and won the season-ending CME Group Tour Championship and the LPGA's money title with only four starts. It was like she was never really gone. Moving on to 2021, she won the Volunteers of America Classic, the Portland Classic, and the Cognizant Founders Cup. In fact, she actually ended up shooting 66 in her final round at the Founders Cup and broke yet another big record. That's right, she tied with Annika Sorenstam's 16-year-old record of 14 consecutive rounds in the 60s. By the end of 2021, she had won the BMW Ladies' Championship and finally got her place back as world number one in the official rankings. Unfortunately, that sweet taste of victory only lasted about a month because she soon dropped back to number two because she was a fraction of an average point per event behind Nelly Korda. 
<laughs> oh well, at least she topped the money list. That's really where it counts, right? By 2022, she won her 13th career LPGA Tour win at the HSBC Women's World Championship in Singapore. But unfortunately, she fell to world number two on her average points, just a little behind Aditya Titikal. That's right, the competition between the women in golf is fierce. It's basically unforgiving. Speaking of unforgiving, Ko ended up getting her playful revenge on Nelly Korda by successfully defeating her by two strokes and defending her Women's World Championship title in 2023. She also reclaimed her world number one ranking in May this year after beating Minji Lee in an epic playoff at the Founders' Cup. And right now, she's actually the woman who spent the most weeks at world number one in the official golf rankings. We told you guys, she's the real deal. Now, it's time for the big question. With all those wins, what's her net worth? Hey, you know how golf gets a bit controversial when it comes to giving women the same proportion of money as the men? Yep, well, that totally applies here. Ko's net worth right now is estimated somewhere around $5 million. A huge chunk of that comes from her endless career wins, but she also has a few endorsement deals and sponsorships. Because of course, as a pro golfer, there has to be some perks you get to enjoy with the job. Am I right? Ko topped the money list for three years straight, from 2019 to 2021. During that time, she got some valuable sponsorships from her homeland, including LG Electronics, Korean Air, Jeju Sam Dasu Water, and Regeran Skincare Products. Talk about a girl who's true to her roots. Now, one of her biggest partnerships is actually with Callaway Golf, but she only signed a multi-year deal with them last year. And get this, until that point, she didn't have an equipment deal. Everyone knows that Ko's all-white outfits set her apart from the crowd, but she's also pretty different when it comes to her golf clubs. While other golfers jump on the opportunity to sign with an equipment company, Ko isn't like that at all. In fact, back in 2020, she told the press that she likes the freedom to choose what's best for her. It sounds like this golf girl has some high standards when it comes to her golf swing, so she likes to keep the clubs that give her the best technical results. Before officially signing with Callaway, she also used to keep her Titleist Hybrid, Bridgestone Irons, Ping Wedges, and a tailor-made putter in her armory. Now she's loyal to her trusty Callaway driver, 3-wood and 5-wood. And if we know anything about clubs, we'd say those are some solid choices. So where is Ko spending all of her money? To tell you guys the truth, we don't really know. This golf girl isn't anything like the rest. In a world of Instagram golf beauties who share everything on social media, Ko still seems to be one of those who like to keep their business to themselves. But hey, there's still one thing we know, and that's that she used one of her huge checks to buy herself a gorgeous house. Back in 2020, when she blitzed the field at the CME Group Tour Championship, she ended up winning the $1.1 million prize. She posted rounds of 68, 67, 69, and 66, five strokes clear of Se Young Ko and Hannah Green. After the game, Ko quickly admitted that she has immediate plans to put the prize money to good use. In fact, she actually showed up to the tournament with a very tangible goal in mind, to earn herself that house in Frisco, Texas. And from what we've heard, it's a gorgeous mansion. But you might be wondering, why Texas? Well, that's because Ko wanted to live near her good friend MJ Her. Seems like not only does she value her family, but she also likes to keep her friends close by. Now, what can we expect from Ko in the future? With her most recent LPGA victory, the Korean star has climbed back up to the top of the women's golf rankings. She actually fell as low as number two in February this year, but after those two epic wins on the LPGA Tour, there was nobody who could stop her from clawing her way back up to the top spot. She might have struggled with her wrist injury in the second half of 2022, but this golf girl is ready to bounce back with even more determination than before. And by the looks of it, she definitely isn't done setting epic records and dominating the LPGA Tour yet. We can't wait to see what she's got in store for us next. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you guys think she'll keep her place as world number one until the end of 2023? Can she end up breaking Kathy Whitworth's epic record of 88 LPGA Tour wins? Who's her biggest competitor right now? Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, speaking of breaking records, do you know who's the youngest winner of the WA Amateur Open? Watch the next video to find out.